Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome to the bonus video here for Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the previous video, we completed the Let's Play, we beat Bowser and got the 120th star. In today's video, we're going to go over all of the content I was unable to show off during the main Let's Play, as well as discuss what you get for collecting 120 stars, essentially 100%ing the game. We're going to start here on the title, or the, the pre-title screen actually, because here we can actually grab Mario and mess around with him. You can grab his nose, and his hat, and both of his ears, so here's the right ear, the left ear, and his chin. And this is just kind of fun, you can mess around with Mario's face, make his, make his eyes go through his hat, is one of my favorite things to do. Let's see? You can make his nose big or small or bring it around town. All sorts of fun things. This concept was used in the Mario Party 2 minigame called Facelift, in which a Mario character will get a distorted face, and you must grab his or her face components to move them around to match the face off icon, or the, the, the facelift icon. I always want to call it face off. Um, random fun fact, but uh, my teacher for digital photography. It was mainly a Photoshop class. Uh, we had an activity with, I believe it was the smudge tool to, to do essentially uh, a, a facelift there. Uh, so a little bit of an interesting tidbit. Okay, this is the select file screen. I showed this off at the very start of Let's Play, but I never showed it off again. I also want to show off all the functionalities, such as erasing a file and copying a file. A little bit of a tidbit into the inside look of my uh, Let's Play process. I always loaded Mario A, however I saved Mario B and Mario D as backup files. So whenever I finished recording an episode, I'd save it to Mario B, record the next one, save it to Mario D, and then the third one would go back over Mario B. So I always had a staggered, um, staggered save in case I was in the middle of, of recording for Mario B and something went wrong, I could restore for Mario D. Um, that's how I went all the way through the 120 missions of the game. If we check the score, we can get a breakdown of all of the areas, as well as uh, our coin count, how many stars we have, the secret stars. This is a pretty cool screen. If you press the A button, it will switch over from my score to high score. So if you have multiple save files, um, for example, if we had 103 coins on Tiny Huge Island on Mario B, then this would say Mario B. Just a fun little way you can view your stats of Mario 64. Start button will return you to the main screen. Let's go ahead and load up Mario A so that we can see some things inside of the game. We'll go ahead and start with... Um, let's go ahead and start with the game over screen. I haven't shown off the, the game over screen because I never game overed. I'm simply too good of a Mario 64 gamer. And uh, because of that, I never got a game over. So we're going to jump off the side of Womp's Fortress four times, or, or five times actually. And, um, and, and yeah, that'll be great. It will allow us to see what the game over screen looks like. I'll warn you, it's a little underwhelming, um, but it should be good nonetheless. I think we've seen it throughout the series, but Mario 64's life counter goes down to zero and then you you lose when your lives would go negative. Uh, it's not like one life means your last life, it means your last extra life, you still have a base life to go off of. A little bit of an odd uh, system. I think it should end when the counter hits zero, not when it dips below zero, but so be it. Not too big of a deal, obviously, especially since it's a bit of a, a bit of a buff to the player. You don't have to, uh, you know, you get an extra life. Alright, so we'll have to do this two more times. A little fun fact, you might be seeing it, but after Mario starts to scream, and after the uh, the black sort of begins to circle in to send you back to the castle, Mario is still inputable. If you watch here, I will do a kick as soon as we are done. Hey, here's the game over screen. It's again Mario's uh, face, except instead of saying Mario 64, it says game over. But it quickly boots right back, into the Super Mario 64 uh, icon panel thing, and you're free to continue with the game as you see fit. Alright, we're going to reload Mario A, because now it's time to discuss what you get for getting 100 
and 20 stars. You might have noticed uh, in the credit sequence because the little, little reward was visible. But this uh, previous vent is now a cannon. No need to talk to a bob bomb or anything. And you can shoot off into da -da -da -da, the roof of the castle. You can shoot all the way up here to the top of the castle. And when you get up here, can we hear them? You might be able to hear some footsteps. Those footsteps are the footsteps of an old friend. That old friend's name is Yoshi. Yoshi makes an appearance in Super Mario 64. Hello, Yoshi. Talk to me. Talk to me, Yoshi. Yoshi was actually intended to be in Mario 64, at least it's speculated, because there's uh, animations for a Yoshi egg, and also textures, I believe. But of course, it never made it into the game. Mario, is that really you? It's been so long since our last adventure. They told me that I might see you if I waited here, but I'd just about given up hope. Is it true? Have you really beaten Bowser? And restored the stars to the castle? And saved the princess? I knew you could do it! Now, I have a very special message for you. Thanks for playing Super Mario 64. This is the end of the game, but not the end of the fun. We want you to keep on playing, so we have a little something for you. We hope that you like it. Enjoy! Signed, the Super Mario 64 team. Which is pretty cool. So Yoshi will give us, oh, essentially infinite lives, which is quite the reward for having completed the video game. You know, getting unlimited lives. Yoshi will then piece the scene, as it were. Thank you, Yoshi. You've been a real hero. There is also a wing cap up here that will allow you to fly, if you so choose to do so. You can only fly around the castle outside area, and there are plenty of invisible walls to slam into. Um, nice little feature, I suppose, to be able to, uh, to fly around the castle courtyard. I think the area is just very, very small, and clearly was unfinished. I mean, like, you can see the water going beyond the invisible wall here. It's just a little odd, I think, to, to have Nintendo be willing to expose all these imperfections. Uh, but hey, they did, so that's cool for them. And, uh, you know, we can fly around if we so choose. Now, you may think that's a bit of a lame reward for getting all 120 stars, and, you know, you might be right. It might be a bit of a bit of an odd reward, but if we wait for the wing cap to run out, which just take a moment, maybe more than a moment, but you know, we we waited out a wing cap before. I guess we could fly while we're waiting. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and fly around a little bit more. There's another reward that we got. Oh, perfect. That's just just superb, isn't it? Just as I was getting ready to enjoy a flight, the wing cap wears off. Only when I'm recording. It's the Let's Play Curse. Shout out to anyone who gets the Let's Play Curse reference, by the way. I haven't had anyone talk about the Let's Play Curse in probably 10 years. Alright, if we go back to the top of the castle, it doesn't have to be the top of the castle, but when we do a jump, you'll notice that Mario will do a somersault off his triple jump with a little golden sparkle texture following behind him. And what this means is that when triple jumping, Mario is entirely invincible. He cannot be damaged by falling at all. Anytime Mario would take damage, instead he will simply not. Ta-da. It will still play the noise like Mario is falling from a very high place, but yeah, he won't take any single damage at all. It's pretty darn cool. However, entirely useless because there is no point to play any missions if you've already completed them all. Right? The reward is only given to you if you've beaten 120 stars for the game, and therefore it's a little pointless to get the reward at the end. Personally, I think it would have been cool to receive an award that was uh, something like having all of the cap upgrades in one. You know, just being able to like idly jump into a... Um, idly jump into the wing cap, or... Uh, sink underwater and be able to walk through the invisible walls like all at once. I think that would be a pretty cool reward, but I guess it'd be a little tricky to uh, arrange because, well, you'd have to. What if you wanted to swim, right? What if you went into Dire Dire Docks and you need to get through the um, little section that requires you to swim instead of walking on the ground? So unfortunately, it's not really uh, easy to do, which is probably why they chose not to do it. 
Um, but as you can see, infinite uh, falling damage, or infinite height, no falling damage. Mario is just absolutely invincible. Ta-da. It's worth noting that this only applies to, uh, to the triple jump. Let's go up somewhere high and then just fall. See what happens with that. Show you that uh, you do have to sort of willingly activate it. Maybe infinite, or not, in, I keep saying infinite, I mean negating. Maybe negating all fall damage instead of just damage from like a certain type. That's just, that was just to show you that, yeah, you do still take uh, normal damage. I think maybe just straight up invincibility mode. Is this not the cave? This isn't the cave. Straight up in invincibility mode would have been a cool thing to have, but I mean, again, kind of broken. Oh, I hit a slide. Gosh darn it. I'm trying to prove a point here, game. You make it very tricky. You make it very, very tricky to prove my point. It's okay. We'll try it one more time using the cannon just so I can show it off. And then we will end off the episode. Uh, now, this was the only bonus video I had planned, which means I'll be starting up a blind playthrough to sort of uh, bide some time between Nintendo Let's Plays. Um, I'll start that up very, very soon. But if you guys want to see any a particular... Uh, anything from this game, you know, leave me a comment, and even though the series is concluding and it won't be receiving uh, regular updates, uh, I could still make a video on something cool in Mario 64. For example, if someone found a way to, like, access the beta of the game, then I would totally make a video on that. That would be super cool. But I don't think that that day will come. And so this is most likely the last Mario 64 video uh, we will see for a while. I never want to, uh, you know, write off the potential to reboot a series or, or redo it. But for the most part, this is going to be all for now, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching and for coming along this Mario 64 adventure with me. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and tell friends of my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then... As always, take care.